So just quickly before we delve into the analysis and the measuring and taking actions on the results we've got so far and taking actions on our analysis, you're going to need to know what actions can be taken. And I like to basically simplify this into four different actions, which I'll cover in this very quick video. So number one, leave. If you're happy with the ad set, why touch it? Why try and fix something that isn't broken? You can look, but you don't touch. You don't edit the ad set, you don't duplicate the ad set, you don't change the budget, you don't do anything with it, you just leave it and let it run and you can just check out the results and you can be satisfied that you've done a good job, you're happy with the results and that's good enough for you, you're just going to leave it. I very rarely do this, but some people want to earn, they have a money, in, uh, a money, they have an amount in their mind and perhaps they're earning that amount through this ad set and they're completely happy with that, they don't want more, so why should they continue working towards optimizing and scaling for more? That's absolutely fine. If your ad set's running at a level that you're happy with, it's fine to leave it. Second, kill. Very straightforward, and this is probably very important for those of you running on a very strict budget. If an ad set is clearly running at a loss, which obviously I'll show you how to work out, it's very easy, then kill it. Click the kill switch. Rest easy knowing that you're no longer spending money on a losing ad set. You're no longer dripping money. You're no longer losing money on this ad set because you've killed it. It's no longer running. Um, yes, okay, you might have lost a bit of money testing it, but that's all part of the game. It's all You're not always going to have winning ad sets. No one I know has ever had a 100% streak of winning ad sets. Everyone that I know personally who uses Facebook ads has used had an ad set that has run at a loss. But you have to do that to work out what doesn't work and work towards what does. So if you're losing money on ad sets, don't worry, don't cry, don't get upset, click the kill switch. Third, optimize. This is probably my favorite. You use the data you've received on things such as genders, ages, locations, placements, devices, and you tweak your ad sets. Ad sets in future, you use the data you've already received. I've got six months worth of data on one of my um, campaigns. So I've got you know six months worth of human interaction with my ad sets to work out and gauge what works and what doesn't work what placements to use, what ages respond better, which genders respond better, who converts at a lower price. And I'm going to tweak my future ad sets to those people. The aim is to optimize the spend on what works best. Yes, you might, let's for example, we're running an ad set to males and females. Males are converting at eight pounds cost per purchase. Females are converting at 10 pounds cost per purchase. You're still, you know, making a hell of a lot of money uh, and profit from each sale from both male and female, even though the, the females are costing you more to convert, what you would do, if especially if you're working on a budget, is just advertise to males because you make more money from males. Yes, you're making a profit from females, but you likely have a finite amount that you can spend on your advertising. So you've got to optimize that spend on who converts for the least amount of money. You've got to optimize the spend on what works best. And therefore, what I would do is optimize my ad sets to just run to males. And that is actually what I do at the moment. Fourth and finally is scale. Is an ad set running at a very good profit? If it is, why not scale it? See how far you can take this. You can either up the budget, duplicate to a higher budget, Duplicate to new devices or audience, audiences or placements, etc., or interests, etc., or you can go to manual bid. I go into these in detail in the next section on scaling methods and how to scale up ad sets that are running at a profit, but scaling is the other very obvious one. Killing and scaling are polar opposites, but they're the easiest, most simplest things to do. If you're at a profit, you scale. If you're at a loss, you kill. So if you just want to work on the basics here, you don't want to think about optimizing and things like that, 
that's fine. You're not going to be making the most of the data you've received. You're not going to be making the most of what you've received from your Facebook advertising experience, but you're still going to learn a lot through this section just through killing and scaling. So they're the actions you can take. Um, now let's dive into the data that I'm going to be using and we'll talk about how to how to re get it reporting properly, how to customize your columns for better reporting, and how to understand all the numbers. <laughs> 